They asked me years ago to try maybe uh, the British Invasion, but then this idea of the 80s came along. And uh, to me it just makes, it, it's just so believable. Well, it was just amazing. I mean, it was a throwback to another time. You know, when I was a boy growing up, you know, I remember the days where they would say, you know, uh, the Beatles recorded an album last week, you know, and uh, it was just about, you know, grab your instruments, know your stuff, plug them in, play, sing, done. And uh, that's exactly what it was like in Nashville. And um, I can't say enough about the players. We were doing two songs a day, and we hammered this thing out in just over a week. And uh, I'm just in awe of these musicians. What we're trying to do with this is make it about the fan experience. But these are songs that mean something to these people the same way it meant something to me. And with a voice that means something to them. And so the vision for it is to connect those things and create experiences where that becomes a soundtrack of reliving memories and creating new ones. I think, I think it's probably going to be one of his best pieces of work of his career and it's, I feel so fortunate to be a part of it. really taken about taken with how great of a singer he still is you know to this day um, after all these years so a lot, a lot of guys that um, are known for singing you know some of these uh, hit songs that we all grew up with can't you know and that was something that was really um, interesting too is to see that Alan has still has that that gift and that tool you know at his disposal no. Well, the uh, the physical journey of the making of this CD has, without a doubt, been been the uh, the toughest journey of my life, uh, physically and emotionally. It's about building my strength up each and every day. I'm working hard at that, and uh, there is no doubt in my mind that I will be on a stage in a town near you one day soon. Here goes nothing. Let's see how we do.